I'm part of the leadership team here at the complex. And last year was actually our first year where we started considering how we could have students look at data, make sense of it, and kind of um, not only pivot the way that we're teaching, but also the way that they were learning. So last year during our um, RTI, our remediation block, we had students take a look at a prior year's MCAS and their response and how they had answered it to kind of reflect on what skills had they learned in fifth grade and how would they answer it differently. This year's fifth grade class is by far our strongest writers and they're very strong in ELA. So we've been kind of looking at how we can really push them to the next level. So as a classroom activity this year, we decided, we had talked about it a little bit in IELT and I kind of jumped in head first and said, you know, I think that I really want to try this again, but I want to do it with my whole class this year. So what I did was I gave them the prompt, I'm sorry, I gave them the passage that they had read and was presented to them in fourth grade on the MCAS. They read through it. And then we looked at the prompt itself. And we do a lot with, um, as our instructional focus, like breaking down the question, understanding the question before we respond. So we did that and then the students were asked to go back and answer the question now as fifth graders. And they thought that that was the task. They did a great job. They showed the strategies and skills that they have learned this year, but kind of as a surprise, uh, after they were done writing, they got to see the released answers from a grade four and how they answered it in grade four. And I think that that was really eye-opening for them because they had thought they had done well in fourth grade, but when they were able to look at both their idea development and their conventions, I think they were all surprised. And it led to a ton of class discussion, a lot of feedback and a lot of reflection from them. And it just kind of snowballed into this awesome opportunity. When you keep raising the bar and having this classroom discussion and you're taking the focus off of your instruction and you decide where the, the day and the lesson's gonna go based on what they're saying, the feedback that they're giving you, it just, it, it's led to so many areas of opportunity and just things I never even saw coming and being able to go and push them to the higher level of expectation within the classroom. And just having that, um, you know, you set that in the first couple of weeks of school, just having routines and making sure that they all know that they're citizens of the classroom and they have that environment. So I can't say enough about really using the beginning part of the year to set routines and to set the classroom community, the family, because once they feel safe and once they feel valued and they know that their opinions, they can share it like that, um, I think that they just keep rising to the level. And like I said, this class is by far um, one of my strongest class yet. And I think that that comes from the students themselves because it's a school culture that we're building. But then also the fact that it's become so routine for me now that I started on day one. And by this point in the year, they're ready to fly. So I think just really making sure that your classroom environment um, is, is one where every student feels heard and safe and valued. So that's that. Um, in terms of the other part of the question is if you want to try this and the student work protocol, again, I think it's that buy-in piece. Like we look at so much data as educators and we interpret it a certain way and we look at it and we we're so in tune to what's the root cause and how can we pivot our instruction, um, and, and have targeted focus. Um, but sometimes as educators, we are making assumptions. And I think by having the students try the student work protocol now that we're used to it has changed things drastically because um, things that we weren't expecting them to say, like, you know, those weeks leading up to the MCAS, they felt very, very stressed. So they shared that with us. Um, and we also felt that way. So like I said, it, it changed it. So when we came back this year as a school, we decided we were going to start on day one. Um, so I think by doing the student work protocol with the students and having them have the buy in, you hear insights and you get to your root causes a little bit quicker. Um, you're able to look at the data, interpret it a little bit differently. Um, and it's been it's been eye opening. I think the next step for all three of us is to really push ourselves, not just Miss Keen pushing us to push ourselves to be our greatest and to carry this good attitude on to middle school. And um, Miss Keen always says that we're going to rock middle school. So that's, I think, our goal is to go into middle school and be leaders and help other people, even if they're older.